This video will show you how to create a pre-boarding notification using Revenue's Customs Roll-On, Roll-Off service. A pre-boarding notification, or PBN, is a virtual envelope where the master reference number, or MRN, of all customs declarations, covering all of the goods being transported on a vehicle, are held together in one place. This envelope will be assigned a unique identifier called the PBN ID. Creating the PBN is the responsibility of the haulage company or freight forwarder. However, an intermediary or customs agent, importer or exporter, can also create one. A PBN must be created for each commercial vehicle in advance of a journey by ferry. If you import or export goods from or to a non-EU country, you must submit all the relevant customs declarations in advance of transporting the goods. Submitting a customs declaration creates a master reference number or MRN. If you are transporting a number of consignments of goods at the same time, a customs declaration must be submitted for each consignment. A pre-boarding notification holds certain customs information that will allow you to move goods from the 1st of January 2021. From this date, a valid PBN ID must be provided to the driver of the vehicle that is moving the imported or exported goods. And this means the driver will be able to check in to board the ferry. The PBN ID can be notified to the ferry operator at the time of booking, if it is available. Otherwise, it can be provided to the ferry operator in advance of the vehicle arriving at the port. Without a valid PBN ID, the driver of the vehicle will not be allowed to check in and will be instructed to leave the port. You can create a PBN by clicking on www.revenue.ie forward slash roro. To start the process, click on Create PBN. You will need to indicate whether the goods movement is into or out of Ireland. In this example, the movement direction is into Ireland. Under Customs Declarations, enter the MRN of the Customs Declaration for each consignment on board the vehicle. When you have added in all the relevant MRNs, click on Create PBN. If the details provided are sufficient, the PBN status will display as Good to proceed to check-in. This is the required status before the truck driver should arrive at the port for check-in. Incomplete will be displayed if the details provided are not sufficient. Click Edit PBN to add the detail required. Additionally, if the PBN has been successfully created, it is still possible to edit the PBN. For example, if more goods are added to the vehicle and you need to add the relevant MRNs. To add more MRNs, click Edit PBN. Enter the additional information and click Add, and then click Save. You will then see a confirmation that the PBN is updated. If you are satisfied that the MRN for each consignment on board the vehicle is included and the PBN status is good to proceed to check-in, then the driver can go to the port for check-in with the ferry operator. I hope this information will assist you in managing the PBN process. Here is a quick reminder of the key steps to ensure you meet your customs requirements for imports or exports relating to a PBN. Ensure all the MRNs linked to all consignments on the vehicle are added to the PBN. Provide the valid PBN ID to the ferry operator in advance of arriving at the port. Check your PBN is at Good to Proceed to Check-in status. Make sure the driver has the PBN ID.